Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan and thank you for joining us for our Wednesday update for April the 5th. We're still tracking the weather as we head in towards Easter weekend and we've got two areas of low pressure, one to the north and one to the south and in between we've got some settled weather. So we'll try and make sense of all of that. We kick off though with the Wednesday situation and to be honest with you, you can start to see what I'm talking about. Low pressure to the north and low pressure down here to the south. Now that storm will track along, but there's more low pressure down here in the Southern Ocean, which is coming up and bringing a bit of windy weather to the lower portion of the South Island and also through Cook Strait. This low is deepening. It's going to drift towards New Zealand at the same time as this high pressure zone drifts further away from us. So as we go through into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that low to the north, will be brushing these northern areas. So we're seeing rainfall totals in Northland, Coromandel Peninsula, Great Barrier Island, and down towards uh, even as far south as central parts of Hawke's Bay, getting up to about 70 millimeters in some areas. Now this could still move around a bit, as I've been saying for the last couple of days, it depends on the shape and the size of the high that's moving in over the South Island, and that will determine exactly how, how far south that rain goes and the same story along the eastern side as well. And of course, see the rainfall totals on our websites. Let's have a look at Thursday's setup. So there is that northern low, and we've got that southern storm as well. Between the two, we've got some high pressure. There's one out to the east or the northeast that's moving away from us. And the next one, fairly weak, but it's significant still, coming in from Tasmania. And it's significant because it will be the sort of meat in the sandwich, if you like, keeping that low mostly to New Zealand's north and also helping to keep the stormy stuff further to the south. So we should have at least a couple of good days for the Easter weekend, but it may not be good for everyone. And when I say good, I mean, you know, for holiday makers, for those who want it to be mostly dry and settled. So as we head in towards the long weekend, here we are for Good Friday, that low pressure zone to the north stretched out and it drives in a bit of wet weather, but it's broken up. And the high pressure zone over the South Island is part of the reason why, and that's pushing back a little bit against it. So we'll be seeing windier easterlies and some wet weather, especially for Gisborne and Hawke's Bay area, and around Coromandel Peninsula and eastern parts of Northland, there's also the chance of that cloud kind of setting in, and also the chance of some either showers or rain. Just depends on exactly how close that low pressure zone gets. And over on the other side, around Australia, plenty of showers, messy kind of weather as well due to a weak area of low pressure around about Bass Strait. Now as we go into Saturday, that forms into a deeper low as it moves away. On the New Zealand side, this low doesn't deepen, it stays pretty much where it is, and as you can see, a very fine line between the wet weather just offshore over the Bay of Plenty sea area and the dry weather further to the south. So that's what we mean by, you know, it's, it's a little bit hit and miss with some of these downpours, and there should be some good weather in there as well, Maybe not so much around Gisborne and East Cape. That looks as though it'll be the wettest and cloudiest part of the country over the long weekend. By Easter Sunday, the low to the north, it's finally breaking up and moving away, but the leftovers of it remain in the same areas for Hawke's Bay and Gisborne. Northern areas, not quite seeing as much rain, maybe a bit of a break on Sunday, but now the next system, the one coming in from the south, moves through. Classic autumn setup with the windy nor'westers ahead of it. So that will push up temperatures in eastern parts of the country and down in the south as well. And then the rain, it starts to arrive later on. So warm in New Zealand for Easter Sunday, not the same for Australia. A cold southerly blowing through there, and that's going around also this big high pressure zone coming in behind it. Our final map for Easter Monday shows rain moving into northern areas as a nor'wester. It'll be broken up and patchy, not everyone will have uh, heavy downpours, but there will be a couple of isolated downpours through that. And then the low in the Tasman getting deeper. So worth keeping an eye on because there could be some severe weather into the New Zealand area on Monday and potentially Tuesday as well as it starts to move on through. And the southerlies in Australia, they continue, but they also start to ease back. Quite a big high, shaped sort of north to south. When it's like that, dredges up the colder air. So New Zealand will be warm for now, but next week that southerly change will start to move on in, although it might turn a bit more westerly once it arrives. So the long weekend, definitely broken up with some rain clouds. Keep an eye on the rainfall totals where you're going. Just go to weatherwatch.co.nz or ruralweather.co.nz. It has hyper 
local rainfall totals for wherever you're going, every beach, uh, every kind of small town and small village across the country, and of course, all the city suburbs as well. So that's weatherwatch.co.nz and ruralweather.co.nz. Back tomorrow, Thursday, we'll have our final update before the long weekend. We'll see you then.